Lots of you guys have been commenting that I haven't done this in forever. So, hey guys, what is up? Today, I've come to the realization that uh, I'm never, ever, ever, ever gonna wear this. Like, Ever. I'm never going to wear this. It's a LeBron James jersey, dude. I can't wear this. I'm a Celtics fan. So uh, the NBA gave this to me for a campaign I did with them, and like I really appreciate it. Thank you, NBA, for sending this. I'm never going to wear this, though. Like, ever. I'm never going to wear a LeBron James jersey in the history of my life because I'm a Celtics fan. So I'm probably just going to give it away to someone, maybe on Instagram, maybe on Twitter, maybe on Snapchat. I'll figure it out, except I'm not keeping this, so I might as well give it to someone that actually wants to wear it. If you're from Cleveland, that would be even better. Then you could wear this and walk around, and you'd be like your hometown hero boy. Hometown hero boy. What does that even mean? Who knows, guys? I make sense sometimes when I talk, don't I? But yeah, I, I won't be wearing this, so I just thought I would give it away. Speaking of things that I'm probably going to give away, I was thinking, you know, I've worn these Yeezys twice already. I don't really need them, so I'm going to give them away to one of you lucky guys. Ha! Good one. I'm completely kidding. I would never give these away. You guys are crazy if you actually thought I would give away a pair of Yeezys. These things have shot up in value since I bought them. So I bought them at a very good time. Got them for a great price. Uh, I know I got them for 690 Canadian. Did I scrape them against something? 690 Canadian and now they go for around 1200 to 1300 Canadian dollars. So I got them for a really good deal like we're talking almost half price. That being said, I still spent $690 on a pair of shoes. So is that really a good deal? Lots of you guys always ask me where I got those two posters from. I got them from the guy whose sneaker collection you guys saw yesterday or two days ago. He gave them to me, except they are from a website called kicksposters.com or kickposters.com. So if you guys want to go check that out, not sponsored or anything, but that is where they're from. I was not supposed to have a basketball game today and I was a little bit bummed out about that, but last night, like really late last night, Matt shot me a text and said that his team or his basketball coaches team or some sort of team in a league needed an extra player today so I was like hey sign me up I will play and that is exactly what I'm gonna do I am ridiculously stiff I am ridiculously out of shape and I am ridiculously bad at basketball so I think it's probably gonna go pretty good I'm not one to make predictions but I'm thinking like 28 points 15 rebounds 13 assists that type of thing What's up? How are you? Not too bad, how are you? Doing alright. How many points are you scoring today, Dickie? I don't know, we got a few. A few? There'll be a few more buckets than... A few more buckets yeah, in a college yeah. game? So I think I said 28 points, 15 rebounds, 12 assists. In actuality, I got two points on one of one shooting. And no, you were one of one. No, I didn't. I missed a layup, but I got fouled. Four rebounds, maybe one assist, but I took a charge. So that is the most important stat in basketball, correct? Yeah, absolutely. It's the most important stat in basketball. The tournament schedule. And then we play Gordon Bell. And they, uh, they said like the first thing that you take, like if the place started to do, like go up in flames. All right, Matthew. Bye. Bye, Tom. I'll miss you. I really didn't want to do this video. Well, like I wasn't opposed to doing it, but I wasn't going to do it. And then I had around like 150 of you guys ask me. So we are going to do a fake versus real Yeezy comparison. So over the course of the last six months, I have had three pairs of fake Yeezys. Two of them I got on purpose for a video. If you guys saw the wearing fake Yeezys at SneakerCon, that's what I'm talking about. And then I got a pair shipped to me accidentally because I bought fakes. Well, they were shipped to me on purpose, but I bought fakes. I got them accidentally. So we're going to be taking a look at these ones, and we're going to be taking a look at these ones. These ones are obviously the authentic pair, and I am by no means a super duper crazy expert on this. Like, I might get fooled here and there, except I do notice some things that you might want to look out for when buying a fake pair versus a real pair. So first off, the easiest thing for me to tell by is the feel of the prime knit. Now, if you have a pair 
of Ultra Boost 3.0s is going to feel very similar to uh, an authentic pair of Yeezys. If you have a pair of fake Yeezys, the Primate almost feels like more of a burlap sack. It feels coarser, it feels rougher, it feels a lot less stretchy, at least in this case, it feels a lot less stretchy. And just by feeling them, you're gonna be able to feel a texture difference. Now they look exactly the same. Like they look the same from even two inches away. I can't tell if it's fake or real by looking at them, but just the type of material or the way it's woven feels a lot rougher on the non-authentic pair. Now, another thing, is if you stick your hand inside, it's going to feel very rubbery on the non-authentic pair, as, as on the real pair, it's going to feel sort of like a mat. There's a plastic support cage underneath the prime net, if you didn't know. It feels very rubbery and very glossy on the fake pair. On the real pair, it sort of has a matte plastic finish to it. So that's another way. Now, this is a really easy way as well, is the bottom, the boost. Feeling the boost. Now, you don't even need a pair of Yeezys to do this check. You just need a pair of Boost sneakers. Grab an authentic pair of Boost sneakers, whether it's the Yeezys, the Ultra Boost, whatever the case may be, the new Pure Boost. Just feel the boost on your real Boost pair. It should be pretty squishy, pretty firm, pretty squishy and pretty firm. Can you even have both of those at the same time? Whereas the fake one is a lot harder. It doesn't give as much. It doesn't give as much. It does not feel as soft. It just doesn't feel like boost on the fake pair. As I said, I am no Yeezy expert and I wouldn't rely solely on my video, except if my video can help you out a little bit, that is great. So this is the real pair. This is the fake pair. Obviously they are different colors, except this is a very good pair of fakes and it would have fooled me if I didn't know that I wanted a different color. But anyway, guys, real pair, Fake pair. I hope you learned a little bit. Um, there's the boost, the materials, you can feel the materials to see if they feel differently. The back tab, of course, you can look on the inside. Of course, there's a variety of ways to tell, except my personal advice would be either buy them in person if possible where you can see them. Don't rely on pictures or buy from an eBay seller with a ridiculously high feedback rating or buy it from a consignment store. Now a consignment store, you're gonna pay extra money obviously just because it's a consignment store, except you have the guarantee pretty much that they will be real if you're buying from like stadium goods or uh, urban necessities or flight club or somewhere like that you're not going to get a fake pair so these i'm going to be destroying or giving away to a homeless person have not decided yet that will be coming in a video later this week these ones are real though and whew, they are nice <laughs> You guys remember those commercials from a few years ago where it was like, chocolate milk 30 minutes after workout is the perfect way to recharge. Such garbage. Such garbage. Chocolate milk is great, and I drink it very often, but it has so much sugar in it. Like, if you want protein, and you want calcium, and you want some calories, there are so many better ways to do it. Nuts are way better. They don't have sugar. Uh, just regular milk is great. Chocolate milk. Tons of sugar. I don't know what I just did. Why? Why did I do that? Why? I just impulse bought another pair of Jordans, literally. Yesterday's video was called I impulse bought another pair of Jordans. And I just impulse bought another pair of Jordans. I don't know, what what am I doing with my life? What am I doing with my life? What am I, what am I doing with my life? The reason I bought these shoes is because they haven't released yet. So I saw them and they're for retail, but they haven't released yet. So I was like, wow, I need to grab these now. So I just bought them and I just bought them and I guess I could cancel the order. Like they haven't shipped out. I want to keep them though. I need to have, I need to think about things before I buy them. Cause that's the second time I've done that in two days, which is not good. Like it's only two pairs of shoes. So I'm not going to like be financially hurt from that. But if I keep on doing this, then I'm it's not good. So they'll probably be coming in later this week, Thursday, Friday, something like that, in which case I can show you them and we can talk about them and hopefully they haven't released as of then. I don't even know if they have a release date yet. I'm excited I got them. I got a pair of unreleased Jordans for retail, so this should be in pretty soon. They're really cool. I wanted to get them. I think I wanted to get them. I was interested in them, but I saw them pop up and I was just like, bam, PayPal, done. I've seen some people leaving in the comment section that I act like I have ADHD, and I would put a lot of money on the fact that I probably do have ADHD, like especially the H, which I'm pretty sure stands for hyper. 